Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Glad to have you back with me today on Sharpen. And I am really, really excited about a thought. I have been watching during this season all this conversation about vaccines and COVID-19. And I just want to have a little brief conversation with you. There's a verse I read to you just yesterday. Here's what it says. Luke 14, verse 28. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it. For if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule you, saying, this person began to build and wasn't able to finish. Now, I, I want to, you to think with me about, you see me, I'm all excited. <laughs> I want you to think with me about what we're doing in this season. You know, this is the Christmas season. If you're watching this at another season, we're at Christmas time. I got on my red tie. And I'm a real Christmassy person. I am like really <laughs> big on it. But I, and during the season when you got, you know, you got this pandemic going on, you've got people struggling through all these different illnesses. The death rate is a 9-11 every day. 3,000 plus people dying are close to their about every day in America. And they estimate that to be true for the next several months. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. All this death is going on. All this struggling is going on. All of the, they're, they're trying to get you to social distance. They're trying to get you to wear face masks. They're trying to get you to do all you can to save people. It's kind of like Jonah in the boat. I don't know if you remember the story in the book of Jonah. Uh, Jonah was sleeping in the belly of the, in the bow of the ship. And when he was sleeping, the guys came and woke him up, said, hey, you better get up and call on your God because things are going crazy. And Jonah says, well, I know what the problem is. And I, I, the problem is me. I'm the reason why all this is happening to you guys. And so at the end of the day, they end up having to throw Jonah over because Jonah never got it. Now, here's what I think is interesting. I look at this COVID-19 circumstance and I'm saying to myself, can we count? Can we look at this and count and see how serious this is? If you're not moved as a Christian by this, you miss it. Now, here's what the typical Christian response would be. Well, I'm not walking in, faith, in fear. I'm walking in faith. I believe that God's hands on me and God will press me. God, no power is greater than God's power. Corona is no stronger than I am. Yeah, I know all that. But listen to what this verse says. Sit down first, mm -hmm. count the cost to see whether you have enough. Make sure you're not just acting and pretending that you have enough because you may not. You may be running out of time. And if you're not careful, you'll put yourself in an awkward place. Christian thinking and Christian rationalization, the way they ra we rationalize stuff. And sometimes we're just being foolish. It's not faith. It's, it's, it's foolishness. We, we have adapted. How could you not be moved to tears and moved in your heart and soul if you care about the souls of men? To not, do, to not do everything you can to prevent anybody from catching this and making every precaution you can to stop, estimate the cost, and make sure you have enough to complete it so that people don't end up mocking you. Here's my concern. If we're not careful, they're going to mock us because we're so busy running back into our churches. I'm not against that as long as you go through all the many efforts it takes to run it. We are not open and we're not going to be open for a while because we, we're open digitally right now. We have, we're building a bigger digital ship. But all, that's, all that is because I understand the power of not being a person claiming faith, but I'm being foolish. And Jesus said this in, in John chapter, Matthew chapter 4. They asked him to jump off the, off the cliff and the Lord would catch you. He said, you don't tempt God like that. You don't live out of those that kind of advice. That's not in the word. You have to, and I have to, make sure that in this season, we're not being foolish in the name of faith. Faith needs to have a basis of truth. And when you look at your enemy that you're fighting, you need to understand who you're fighting and you do what you can. So you wear a face mask. You stay at your social distance. We're in this fight for this season. Fight like you want to win it.
Let's pray. Father, give them grace today and peace. Some, Lord God, are struggling with this season, but I pray they'd rise above it in victory as they walk in faith that's not foolish and stay wise in Jesus' name. Got to go. See you next time. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple, overcome by faith in Savannah, Georgia. I'll see you next time. Stay safe, please. God bless. Bye-bye.